Each one's a professional. You know, he, he's a guy that gets um, the big picture of things. You know, he can play a different, couple different spots. He can guard a different spot. So he's a very versatile guy. But he's in a crowded backcourt. You know, Kirk Heinrich is uh, at the end of his rope, but Kirk Heinrich is still a really good pro, um, very, very successful player in the NBA. Aaron Brooks is a guy that can score in bunches, um, has more quickness than each one, um, can can get in the game and go quick and do stuff. Each one's not that type of a guy. He's steady. He can score it. Um, he can distribute it. He can play defense. He can get out of position and get back in position, um, sometimes with his length, and especially when he's guarding a point guard, um, but just his overall versatility. But with that crowded backcourt and the emergence of you know, Jimmy Butler you know, being one of the best players in the NBA, Derrick Rose obviously being the former MVP, um, you know, those guys, that, that's with Paul Gasol and Noah and some of those guys, that's their team. Now how do you fit with that? How do you fit? And he's been a great piece for their team, whether he's starting, coming off the bench, or not being in the rotation. He's the guy who sometimes isn't in the rotation, but if you call his name, you know, he's ready to play. And he stays professional, and that's so important when you're trying to win basketball games that you have guys that are that versatile, but also that professional.